Donald Trump summit in Vietnam last week with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un appeared from the start to have been little more than an elaborate excuse for Trump to meet with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov while he was there. After Michael Cohen's devastating testimony, Trump was in such a foul mood, he packed up and left without even going through the motions of finishing his sham summit. Now it turns out to have been far more of a disaster than we knew. Just 48 hours after Donald Trump bailed on the summit, Kim Jong un in North Korea immediately began rebuilding a long range missile site, according to an ugly new report tonight from NBC News. In other words, not only is Kim flouting the restrictions that the United States has tried to place on him, he's flaunting the fact that he's flouting it. In other words, Kim Jong-un is rubbing it all in Donald Trump's face. Our educated guess has always been that Kim was only willing to participate in this sham of a summit as a courtesy to his boss Vladimir Putin and that Donald Trump went along with it for the same reason. Kim Jong-un was clearly never willing to even consider giving anything away to Donald Trump, and now we can see that Kim is intent on flexing his muscles on the world stage. Trump is just that weak and impotent, and everyone knows it. Now Kim is racing to try to complete his long-range nuclear program, and there will be nothing the U.S. can do to stop it until after Trump has been ousted.